My name is Mike Basilio, Exelon's Chief Nuclear Officer. The events in Fukushima on March 11, 2011 resulted in major changes at not only our 10 facilities, but the energy facilities across the industry. It's important that you know about those changes and how we've incorporated the lessons learned from Fukushima to make Exelon facilities even safer and better prepared for the unimaginable. Right after the Fukushima event was reported, Exelon dispatched engineers and technical experts to help with the recovery and to learn more about the event so we can prevent a similar accident from ever happening here. Since then, we've worked closely with the nuclear industry to develop innovative mitigation strategies, which we call FLEX, and we've moved aggressively to meet or exceed all of the Nuclear Regulatory Commission's Fukushima recommendations. Together, we're gonna to make our facilities even safer and better prepared for the unimaginable. Welcome to Peach Bottom Atomic Power Station in beautiful southeastern Pennsylvania. Nestled along the Susquehanna River, Peach Bottom has been providing clean energy for nearly 40 years and has safely operated through droughts, floods, and earthquakes. The Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant in Japan was not as fortunate. In March 2011, the Japanese faced an event that was once unthinkable, the combination of an earthquake plus a tsunami. The resulting flooding overwhelmed the plant's defenses and reinforced the fact that no one can predict Mother Nature. While tsunamis aren't a danger to our nuclear energy facilities, Exelon is incorporating a host of lessons learned from the events in Japan across our entire fleet. I'm here at Peach Bottom to give you a behind the scenes tour of this secure facility and show you exactly what Exelon is doing. Jim Meister and his team headed up Exelon's Fukushima response. Jim, can you tell us what Exelon and the industry have been up to? Exelon responded quickly to the events in Japan and worked proactively with the industry to develop a flex strategy. Flex is aptly named because it's flexible and adaptable to allow U.S. nuclear stations to build on the many accident mitigation strategies they already have in place. Here at Exelon, we've already implemented many of the flex strategies. For instance, we purchased additional high-capacity, portable, diesel-driven pumps and hoses for all of our stations, which can be mobilized quickly to provide another source of emergency cooling to the reactor, to the spent fuel pool, or to plant equipment during an event. We also purchased new emergency vehicles, additional portable backup generators, emergency cooling and communications equipment to ensure that we can respond quickly and communicate effectively during an emergency. All these are important lessons learned from Fukushima. And under FLEX, the U.S. nuclear operators will share equipment and resources. Strategically placed regional centers will provide an additional level of support to all U.S. facilities if a disaster strikes. These are just a few of the FLEX strategies we have implemented at Exelon to make our facilities even safer. Thanks, Jim. Now, let's look inside the facility. I've arranged special access for you to meet some of Exelon's engineers and technical experts to discuss how Exelon's plants are designed and operated to withstand the most severe events. Now, I'm inside and want to show you one of the most important distinctions between the Fukushima plants and Exelon's energy facilities. Fortified, redundant, and protected backup power supplies. I'm here with Anthony, who is going to explain. This is a diesel generator, each is the size of the average locomotive. Together, they provide enough power to run the station's shutdown safety systems indefinitely. The fuel tanks are buried underground, so they can't wash away like they did in Fukushima. And the building we're in is elevated, fortified, and stormproof. At every Exelon facility, we also have multiple battery backup units to keep power supply to important equipment when the lights go out. As part of FLEX, we are adding large portable generators to further enhance our preparedness. We call this defense in depth, layer upon layer of protection and preparedness. This is the Exelon strategy. Now I've ventured to the spent fuel pool, right next to the reactor itself, where used fuel is stored. The water in the pool shields radiation, which allows us to stand this close. During the Fukushima event, when the power went off, operators had no way to monitor water level or temperature in their spent fuel pools. One of our experts, Steve, is going to tell us a little bit more about what Exelon is doing to protect its spent fuel. 
Exelon has monitors in place that allow main control room operators to observe water level and temperature in the spent fuel pool at all times. If the water level gets too low, the used fuel rods could release radiation. Our safety measures make that next to impossible. However, we are currently upgrading our monitoring equipment across the fleet of plants to allow engineers and technicians to monitor water levels remotely with or without off-site power. Another lesson learned from Fukushima. In the unlikely event that a natural disaster were to cause water levels in the spent fuel pools to drop, we have access to multiple sources of water and two portable flex pumps to ensure that our spent fuel remains safe indefinitely. Another gap in Fukushima's preparedness plan was adequate venting inside the reactor building. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Containment vents help reduce pressure and minimize the risk of a failure inside the reactor building. Many of Exelon's facilities are already fitted with these vents, and Exelon is working hard to add or enhance venting at some other sites. It's just another way we're working to protect our plants and our workers. Well, we've heard directly from the experts about a few of the major changes Exelon has already made as the result of Fukushima. But we're not finished. In fact, some of the actions could take five years to complete. Here on the banks of the Susquehanna River, we are with Heather. Can you tell us what you're working on? At Fukushima, the earthquake, tsunami, and flooding were unprecedented. Since Fukushima, we have reviewed all of our preventative strategies for flooding and seismic events. And we are taking actions to be even more prepared. Are any of Exelon's nuclear facilities located in areas prone to severe flooding or earthquakes? No. Regardless, after Fukushima, we took a hard look at all of our flood and seismic preventative strategies. We re-inspected our seismic supports and tested more than 1,700 pieces of emergency equipment. We also tested over 1,900 flood barriers and seals to make sure we are prepared for just about anything Mother Nature can deal out. But what if the power goes out? We verified we have an on-site and off-site communications capability during an extended loss of electricity even if the entire infrastructure within 25 miles of the plant is not available. All this to ensure that we are even more prepared for the unimaginable. Well, I hope you enjoyed our tour. I wanted to show you how Exelon is already implementing lessons from Fukushima and how we are putting new equipment and new technologies to use here and at every Exelon nuclear facility. With one goal in mind, your continued safety. To learn more about Exelon, please visit us at www.exeloncorp.com.